Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to go over all the options in the movie creation panel in Avizo. So to start out, I've created a very simple animation of the chocolate bar and of an ortho slice clipping the chocolate bar and moving at the same time. So our goal in this video is to export a movie of this animation. If you want to learn how to create this animation yourself, just check out one of our other videos. So to start out, we're going to go back to time zero and we're going to go to the movie creation panel. So there are a couple things that are important before you go into the movie creation panel. First, make sure your animation is named. And second, make sure you've clipped the animation at the right time. So our animation goes from second zero to second five. It doesn't go all the way to 24 seconds, it just goes to five seconds, just like that. This will make sure we export the correct length video. So the first thing is this info tab. So what this info tab tells us is how many frames our exported video will be. So currently, because it's a five second video and our frame rate is 25, there'll be 125 frames total. And the total video time will be five seconds. So we want to record from viewer zero, which is this one. Anti-aliasing is a way of improving the video quality. We're going to leave the file format as MPG movie but you can also save it as just a sequence of frames as like JPEG images or TIFF or PNG images or as just an AVI movie. So there's many different options for how to export this video. Next, there's the file name input box. So we can click right here. So one thing to note is you do need write access to the directory where you want to store this. So we want to go to desktop and just save it, call this chocolate. Just like that. And click save. And there we go. So now we've saved it at chocolate.mpg. So next, we're going to go over the frames slider. So this is the total number of frames you want your video to be. So Aviso automatically sets it. If we have a 25 frame rate, it will take 125 frames. But what if instead of 25 frames a second, we wanted it to be 30 frames a second? So how you would do this is you would first change the number of frames to 150 and click enter and there we go. So now I want you to note how it now says it will take six seconds because the frame rate remains the same. So to make it a frame rate of 30, you need to change both the number of frames and the frame rate to be the same. So now it's going to take 150 frames and take five seconds for the animation. Next, if we change the frame rate to like 60, it will just condense the amount of time the animation will play into 2.5 seconds while still keeping the number of frames constant. So you need to make sure your number of frames and your frame rate line up when creating the video. So what quality is, is it basically is a measure of compression. So one is the best possible quality and zero is the worst possible quality. We're just going to keep it at 0.8 for now, but you can always change it in the future. This type box is mainly used if you're trying to export 3D video. So you can choose the 3D format you want. Next, the format tile. So what this is, is you can either choose RGB or RGBA. So RGBA adds an alpha channel. So this allows you to superimpose your animation onto a new background. So note that not all output formats accept this. So the next part is you can choose the size you want it to export. So if you just choose the size viewer, it will just export with the current viewer size, which you can see right here. But generally, I would choose to export it at 1080p, just like that. So to actually export the video, you click Create Movie, and what will pop up is the animation, and it will go through frame by frame and render it for you. So this may take some time, so I suggest just leaving your computer while it's doing this. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching.